Hello everyone, this is Abdullah Sheikh from Code Prime. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the CSS position property. We are going to learn how we can apply the CSS position and how much property we have. This CSS basically we use that all property we are going to apply this. The type of CSS position basically we are going to cover into this video right now. This first one relative position, second one absolute position, third one is position fixed position, and the fourth one is sticky position. So let's start this video right now here. Here you can see I have opened my VS code and here I have added basic HTML file. There I have added title, CSS property, position property and this I have connected a link by this is style file.css file and here I have added a class name of this title. So and I have written this title here and you can see I have written some basic CSS for this title and this font family. So let me remove this container from here because it is still not neat. So now save this changes. And you can see on this live server, I'm using that Chrome, this PS code extension live server. You can see this live preview on the live side here, this in this browser here. So now let me understand to show you this understanding how we can write this possibility of this position here. So we will apply this all of this position and we will explain that how it's work. So now let me set a class name here. So here I'm going to set this class name container. And inside of this here, I'm going to add another two more class name that is position one and paste now i'm going to copy and paste it and replace the value of this class name that is two so we have set this and now save this changes there is no effect here because we haven't write it any css is still from for this classes for this container here so now let me write the css for this container go to css file and open this container here we can write anything here i'm going to set anything so let me set a padding here padding and it will be 10 pixel and border radius so you can set border radius or anything else doesn't matter so here i'm going to set this border radius 5 pixel and here i'm adding a box shadow so here 0 0.03 pixel hashtag cc so this is our box shadow and you can see one here this it was stated here so now let me set some margin from the top so here set some margin from the top okay margin top okay i think it's better to set from the margin from the bot side so let me set margin property directly here and i'm going to make it 30 pixel and um five percent ten percent it will be okay so now since this and you can see this we have added this container property here so let me drop this line and go back to html.css file and here we have this classes for this position here two more so now back to here and i did this here i'm writing the container and then write to this class name position one so here we have these two class name here so here i'm just copy and clone this again first of all because we need two class section here so another one is position two so here i'm using setting some width that is width is 200 pixel and hide also the same hide also the same 200 pixel and now i'm setting a border radius border radius 5 pixel and i'm setting a color background that is here i'm going to make a color okay now we have set this so now we need to copy and paste this css proper css now inside of this container dots position 2 and now let me change this color code here now save this changes and you can see on this right side this two section is here available it was still it was in this the block section here so now let me set some margin from the both sides so margin will be 5 pixel and the same property copy and paste on the position 2 so here also and save this changes and you can see that we have some spaces it is looking very low so let me increase the size 10 and save this so now we have proper spaces in the bottom of this element here so now we are going to apply this position first of all we are going to position relative if we apply here this position relative here so position relative and this both of the property position relative it will be not affected here still if we apply here position relative save distances nothing is affected here but if we apply here this position absolute 
so change set this absolute and it will be change this you can see that this item is out of this container classes so if we can move it anywhere places right now because we haven't any parent property yet now we haven't connected the parent property so i will show you that how we can connect this parent property in this absolute and we can make this position to in this uh, the container classes here so let me show you that so here i'm just containing that margin if we set this margin bottom so it will be go to bottom zero so this um, property will be go to this margin bottom zero and this okay bottom so there is no need to margin bottom because it will be from there we can apply this strictly bottom zero and you can see this item is position two as going to this bottom here and we can move this from this right side also if you want to write make zero so it will be moved to the right side so this way this they move this position absolute work always will work this way like you can move them property of anywhere without controlling the parents so this is a children property this position one position three will be children property and the parent property is container but if we want to move this parent with this parent property we want we think that this position absolute will be controlled by the parent property so for this property we need to do here just we need to update the position relative on this container property so it will be the parent property of position relative so now when we save this changes it will be the inside of this control of this parents so this cell then don't go out of this parent section so this is the container is parent section and this cell then does not permission have permission to go out from this cell then parents property so this way you can make some this limited area for this by using this your parent property this parent will be the contabilitative position and which is your cell then we can move them by position absolute or anything else here so here this i'm going to apply this if you apply here this position is sticky so position is sticky save this changes you can see this position is sticky is working like by default it is not changing here but this sticky have some another uses also i will show you there but before going to show you that because i'm going to show you something and now let me remove the parent controls and we're going to apply here now position is sticky inside of this here we're going to apply this position fixed so here this is the fixed now when we set this so it will be save this sense and it will be fixed here this property of the cell then position to it it will be not moved from here until whenever we scroll our skin or anything else doesn't matter but it will be not scroll for example if we make some scrolling ideas of this so let me connect our body sections and here i will add a mean height uh, 500 vas vertical height save this changes now we move our skin back to here move our skin you can see that we can scroll our skin but this property is not moving from here because we set the fixed position this is the fixed position we have set it that and we have con command this item that you will not change permission to change this your places so this way you can set your position like you it was some website you can see that navbar is not sticky when you scroll down but navbar is going to on the top or bottom or anywhere is places and you can apply this position fixed position this will be applied for this your container your children or anything of your element it will be fixed that places where you were whenever you set there so you can change these places also by here bottom right you can just change this value from here if we make it 50 pixel from the bottom so it will be go up from the bottom 50 pixel you can see there but it will be still placement will be the same position because we have set this position fixed so now this way you can see how we can apply this position relative fixed and absolute so now we can see the apply it so now i'm going to show that another proper things about this so let me remove this position absolute from here okay fixed from let me remove this and save this changes and we have this control parent property so now let me set a position absolute and now we need to give the control of our parents so click on to here this position relative and uncomment this tag so now we have the control of it so here we have this control so now let me decrease this bottom and this okay this bottom property and this property and let me remove here now we have this property here the position relative and mass of these things here so we have this control about it so now okay so let me set this the position relative is here this container classes and this one also will be the position absolute and set this so now we can see that that both item when we have set this position absolute so that both item is goes to in the one section but there is two layer you can see there 
this two layer is available here but if we make it the position relative here both let me set it relative and relative save this so you can see that it was available so now we can move this position by the transform translate also here let me set this transform translate and we can write the direction of this we see we want to move that so we are going to move here this y and we want to move that from this x y direction plus point we want to move from the this bottom this position to cell to we want to move on this top so we need to provide here this minus property because we want to move up here this before this this uh, opposite, uh, opposite direction here so we need to make it 50 100 pixel minus 100 pixel and save this changes and you can see that we can move this property by transform translate when we have this position relative but whatever if you don't make it here this position relative or anything else and let me set here another property that is position absolute here this one also position absolute no absolute okay set this absolute save this changes and now we need to control them let me remove this transform translate and save this changes we have there so now we can show them also so now let me and control this so we have here and let me uh, hide this property here this sorry I have made wrong let me uncomment this all property here uncomment now save this changes we have this property here now we can apply here this layer layout here by using the z index property but you must be near to the position absolute if it's not position absolute or if you don't have any position relative absolute or fix anything else without position the z index will be not work so you can provide here the z index we're going to apply for this the background for the position cell in one if we make it one and save this changes that you can see that the first layer will be up to the top layer and if we make this item here the z index if we apply here the z index 5 so this background the children 2 will be the top layer so this is the work for this position is absolute or relative whatever you want but if you don't want the position absolute then the layout will be not work you can see there there is no layout is working here whatever you do there this is layout will be not work so this you must when you have applying this z index it must be needed for position absolute so we know that the position is very important thing that is position is mostly we use that position absolute relative and fixed position this three property we have used but you must be need that position property whenever you are using that layer property that index property whatever you are using you must need the position property so that's why the position property is very important when you wherever you work in layout or anything else background data so anywhere you are using that that position is very important thing that you can use that position things so i hope you understand how it's actually that position properties work like there I have explained that all position per part and I have also showed the practical process of how it's work so still if you have any question about this position tutorial position property so you can ask me on the comment section below and if you want to get more videos just like this please like on it and share it with your friends also if you want to subscribe our channel for getting daily more new tech, tech related videos about this type of tutorial so please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get daily updated from us